In this video, we will discuss the cardinality of Cartesian products. Let A and B be finite sets. Then, the cardinality of the Cartesian product A cross B is equal to the cardinality of A times the cardinality of B. To see why this is true, let the cardinality of A be equal to N, and let the cardinality of B be equal to M. Remember that an element in the Cartesian product is an ordered pair, where the first component of the ordered pair comes from the set A, and the second component of the ordered pair comes from the set B. Since the cardinality of A is equal to N, there are N choices for the first component of our ordered pair. Similarly, since the cardinality of B is M, there are M choices for the second component in the ordered pair. Since the choices for the first component of the ordered pair are independent of the choices for the second component of the ordered pair, by the property known as the multiplication principle, there are n times m possible combinations of ordered pairs. Since n is equal to the cardinality of a, and m is equal to the cardinality of b, then there are cardinality of a times cardinality of b possible ordered pairs in the Cartesian product. Here are some examples to illustrate the previous theorem. For the first example, the cardinality of the Cartesian product a cross b is equal to zero, since a is equal to the empty set, and the empty set contains zero elements. For the second example, the cardinality of the Cartesian product a cross b is equal to 90, since the cardinality of the set a, which is z mod 10 cross, is nine, and the cardinality of the set b which is the set z mod 10, is 10. So, the cardinality of the cross product is 9 times 10, which is 90. The third example uses the same two sets as the second example, with the order switched. However, since multiplication is commutative, the cardinality of the cross product with the sets switched will still be 90. Here are two examples for you to try on your own. Use the theorem from the previous slide to compute the cardinality of the cross product for each of these sets. Here are the solutions for each of these example problems.